we are given an electrical cable between two towers and we need to find its length. Let us see this figure. This is the origin. The distance between the two towers is 200 feet. So on the right hand side, we have 100 and on the left hand side, we have minus 100. So the total distance between the tower is 200. To find the length of electrical cable, we use the arc length formula given by L is equal to integration is from A to B, 1 plus F dash of X whole square under the root into DX. Let us say this is 1. Now here A is minus 100 and B is 100. F of X is given by 150 cos hyperbolic X by 150. Let us differentiate this. So we have F dash of X is equal to 150 into sine hyperbolic X by 150. And the inner differentiation of X over 150 is 1 over 150. From this we obtain F dash of X which is equal to sine hyperbolic x by 150. Let us use these values in one. So we have L is equal to integration is from minus 100 to 100, 1 plus F dash square. So we get sine hyperbolic square x by 150 whole power 1 over 2 into dx. Now let us recall that cos hyperbolic square theta minus sine hyperbolic square theta is equal to 1. Using this formula, we get L is equal to integration is from minus 100 to 100 and 1 plus sine hyperbolic square. Now this is equivalent to cos hyperbolic square x by 150 whole power 1 over 2 dx, which can be simplified as from minus 100 to 100. This is cos hyperbolic x by 150 into dx. If we integrate it, we get sine hyperbolic x by 150 divided by 1 over 150. And the limits are from minus 100 to 100. From this, we can write 150 into sine hyperbolic of 100 divided by 150 minus sine hyperbolic of minus 100 divided by 150. And if we simplify this, we have sine hyperbolic 2 by 3 minus will come outside. So this can become plus sine hyperbolic 2 by 3. If we further simplify this, we can get 2 into sine hyperbolic 2 by 3. And this can be written as 300 into sine hyperbolic 2 by 3. Now, from calculator, we can get the value of sine hyperbolic 2 by 3 which is equal to 0 0.717. And if we simplify this, we get 215 
0.1 fit. So that is the required arc length. In method two, we use the same procedure, but taking f of x equal to 75 into e power x by 150 plus e power minus x by 150. From here, we get f dash of x. And then using the same arc length formula number one, using these values, and after simplification, we get the same solution. That's all.